this story, this show, you're playing the Virgin Mary. I mean, you're playing the mother. Big time. Yeah, <laughs> Any pressure? None whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I I like to I like to say that I don't. I try not to think about it until I'm. Um, doing press and then all of a sudden I it then you realize like, oh yeah right yeah. it's it's her yeah there's only one of her yes. for all history for all time um I I think you know I what I do is I try to focus on what's on the page I love the take that our writers have on her focusing on the relationship her relationship with um, with her son on um, seeing her um, you know uh, with a friend talking making jokes um, you know I feel like we see her in such a new light now um, as a woman not only as a mother um, which you know is at her core and and of course she's the most famous mother but she's also a woman she was also in living through these crazy times mm -hmm. and um, I like that we can that we can see a little bit more of her life what was your life like before the chosen oh my gosh <laughs> I I was kind of sort of thinking about quitting acting yeah. it was it was it was a little complicated I had just had a baby she was I think 10 months old when I booked this I was working in casting and you know had a mortgage and a baby and uh, acting roles weren't really coming my way so you start thinking like is this is this maybe something that i should be pursuing casting you know which is like more of a, a stable um a desk job and which i was you know it, things were going well so maybe this was in the books for me and um and then I got this, and I was like, nope, I need to quit my job. <laughs> and then I did. And I kind of just, like, took a leap of faith, literally. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and then also with the pandemic, um, you know, I, I, I was thinking at the time of going back to casting, and then the, the pandemic hit, and there, was no there, weren't, there weren't any mm -hmm. jobs out there. So I just kind of had to stick with this. And look what happened. Yeah. And what about you, Lara? Where, what were you doing and what were you thinking about your life before The Chosen happened? Um, before The Chosen, I had just about moved to Atlanta. I was, I was probably there for about a year or so um, from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I just, I honestly was still pretty new in acting. I feel like I still am because um, it was just a, a late decision in my life that I was like, this is what I'm going to pursue. A late decision? <laughs> it was. I was 24 when I decided, okay, I'm gonna, this is what I'm going to try to go for. Um, and I went at it full force. I was a sponge and just absorbed everything from the people that I met, um, the classes I took. And um, I was going for a f like smaller roles here and there, just building my resume. But when The Chosen came about, um, that was honestly like a god. Thing because um, my agents didn't know about it. I had a very small boutique agency um, and it was a friend that I had met three years prior to The Chosen being a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, she was working in the casting office that was casting The Chosen. She thought of me for the role of Mary Magdalene actually. So she sent it to my agents and I then submitted for it. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's crazy how that all worked out. And from there, it was literally out of all of our hands. Mm -hmm. And um, do you think that people confuse or misunderstand what the show is about? I think so. Oh. A thousand percent. I, so, I think when people hear a show about Jesus, they automatically think that it's going to be terrible, <laughs> that it's going to be cheesy, um, because they sort of have for many, many years, um, until you actually watch it and you see how incredible it's truly made the writing the um the humanity that comes out we're so much more alike than we're different and i feel like it's a show for everyone you know it's not just for people of of faith i mean other i we get messages from people that are literally he said i'm an atheist but this show cinematography is too good to pass up i mean that's mind-blowing um so yeah, it's, a, it's yeah. an incredible 
experience and life-changing show to be on for people watching it as well as for myself. Real quick answer for you, Vanessa, and just in terms of like 20 seconds, just tell me what your hope is in terms of this show. Like, obviously, you guys are going to be working for another, what, two, three and a half seasons. Uh, you've got job security for a little bit. <laughs> right. That's the goal, hopefully. Yeah. So, so what do you hope happens as a result of you choosing The Chosen? Well, I think, you know, um, this show really has a message of hope. Mm -hmm. And I think people are responding to it. I think people are in need um, of, of, of shows, of, 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 of content that really uplifts and, 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 and it's, it's heartwarming and, and hopeful. Um, right now, I think everyone somewhere in the world um, is going through something. Mm -hmm. And to bring hope to those people um, from all walks of life, that is to me um, what inspires me about this show. And, and hopefully that's, that's what brings yeah. you know, people together to watch it. This Sunday, watch The Chosen at 8, 7 central. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.